Hello and welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. Welcome to the hashtag you are the creator tutorials. In this video, I am talking to you about a prologue, what it is, where to find it, how to use it, and how it can work for you. Before we get to the video, for the people who don't know me and my channel, I offer over 300 video tutorials, all step-by-step, -step, easy to follow for building a YouTube channel, building a WordPress website, social media marketing, and content marketing, as well as KDP self-publishing for beginners. I am a new author and I am creating another Kindle ebook called You Are the Creator Tutorials. The journey of how to write a Kindle ready ebook, paperback, and convert the manuscript into an audiobook. I give all my knowledge freely, so if you can do me a favor and quickly slip down, click the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any new videos in this series. For the rest of the people, thank you for being a loyal subscriber and I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. This way that I have found to create a prologue is using your Microsoft Dictate. You just click into your Microsoft Dictate. You will see it loading. For the people who are not familiar with Microsoft Dictate, there is a video you will find in the description that will show you step by step how to use the Microsoft Dictate with your Microsoft Word. It will give you all of the information about the dictation settings and also tips for using the dictation. New paragraph. It was October 15th, comma, 1954, comma, around 4.30, comma, when Jacob Harding stepped out of his apartment, decided to walk to his appointment. You will have to get used to using your headset and also using the different commands such as new paragraph, period, comma. You will use speech to text. You will learn how to use the speech to text to start to write your novel. This is going to take time and you will be doing a little bit of research so that you will not have to do a lot of editing afterwards. The whole point of a prologue is to get people to buy your book either your Kindle edition or your paper book. In every book you will see this look inside. When you click on look inside you will find your cover page. 90% of book sales is your cover page and your title. I'm just going to pull up a template that I created. What is a prologue at the beginning of a book? If you decide to use a prologue, this is one of the first things that a reader will see. The prologue is always written by the author, which is you. In the prologue, the author gives an introduction that the part of the book and it should be read before the first chapter. So now we are over here at in Amazon and went to the look inside. 
you can always add a prologue after writing your first draft. As an example, you can write your prologue after you have completed your manuscript, or you can write your prologue before you start your manuscript to use as a reference. Before you decide if you would like to use a prologue, let's define what a prologue is. Let's look at the pros and cons. So number one, the prologue is before your first chapter and a prologue will set up the story giving readers a view of events that are either earlier, even years before. As an example here I have 1954 in my first chapter it's 2003. In your main character's life or a supporting character's life a prologue will give a background of events to follow in your book. It can also reveal the characters or bring the characters to a certain point. This establishes the story's tone and presents the theme. My theme is Project Mars WCO Secret Agenda title, which is the theme is Mars all through the book. The WCO is the World Canvas Organization, which is a theme all through the book. To establish the tone, this will be in your writing. So, I am not an expert. And this is my first book. So, for the people watching who have a lot of writing experience. You can leave me a comment and let me know of ideas that you have worked with or experience that you have had that can help my readers. You see these three straight lines. It says explore contents and here you can even customize your view. I'm just going to click on explore the contents. It's not allowing me to do that right now. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the prologue. My dedication. And here is the prologue. So I'm setting the scene. It's in 1954. I have the time and I have my character. What is the event? The event it, that I am talking about here is Hurricane Hazel, but it's actually about a large truck that slams into a building I'll just read it okay this is my prologue now this is my first uh, prologue this is my first novel so don't be too hard on me it was October 15th, 1954, around 4.30, when Jacob Harding stepped out of his apartment and decided to walk to his appointment. He only lived around the corner from downtown Toronto. So here I am setting the scene. Jacob was unaware of the radio broadcast's warning from the Dominion Weather Office. He noticed it was raining and he had forgotten his umbrella and raincoat. It was starting to get very windy. Jacob was oblivious of the devastation that was yet to come. And here I am setting the tone. A storm heading his way would change Toronto forever. Canada's worst natural disaster, Hurricane Hazel. Now, I'm setting the tone and I'm also using a reference that a lot of people would be familiar with, which is Hurricane Hazel. Walking down the street, he noticed no one was outside. As he looked around, he could see the sky was starting to blacken and the wind seemed like they were over 100 miles an hour. There was a sound like a motor revving up. Jacob turned his head just in time to see a large tractor-trailer truck come around the corner and then boom smack crashed right into the side of what seemed to be an ab abandoned building. The large truck had just m missed hitting the lone man walking on the sidewalk. Here I am putting a thought into your mind. I am uh, giving you an image of a truck just missed hitting the lone man walking down the sidewalk. Jacob was thrown to the ground as the back end of the trailer of the truck exploded. He turned his head just in time to see the flames burning through the side and the letters WCO. Now you see here's my title, Project Mars WCO Secret Agenda. So here I am weaving my title through my prologue. 
But Jacob recognized the leaders immediately and his senses were now heightened. Jacob's attention was drawn to the muzzled, muffled scream as the truck driver was trapped in the cab. He searched the wreckage and found something he could use as a lever to pry open the door. Jacob could see the driver inside was still alive and kicking the door as hard as possible. Finally, the entrance to the truck cab flew open. The man inside jumped out of the cab and yelled, Jacob, Goebel, and Mars. Here I am introducing Mars in my prologue and took off running away as fast as possible. Jacob could see he was pointing skyward with his finger with only one look back. The man turned around and disappeared down a side street. Now, I've introduced something that the reader has now an image in their mind. Jacob saw the flames coming from the in engine and knew he had to move fast. So Jacob too started running as, fa as far away as possible from the truck as he could. Boom, the engine exploded exploded and the truck was fully engulfed in fire. Jacob had escaped with his life and the driver was nowhere to be seen. But here I'm introducing a different tone. Jacob suddenly just stopped running. A terrifying thought had stopped him dead in his tracks. There was something about the truck driver that seemed familiar to him. He could not put his finger on it. A painful memory buried so deep in his subconscious that Jacob could not even allow himself to remember. So what I'm doing now is I am using a memory as part of my prologue. Yes, he said to himself. Jacob pictured the man who had, hid, had hid, said his hidden name, his hidden name, which is Jacob Goebel, remember I told you his name was Jacob Harding, pointed upwards and said, Mars, I remember. Then Jacob relived the last time. So now Jacob has a flashback. He's now reliving something also from the past that will later be repeated and also more in evolved and more in detail as the story goes on. I remember, then Jacob relived the last time he saw his father Samuel alive and the tragedy that had forever changed his destiny. Jacob thought he fooled the WCO. So there I am using the WCO from my title again when he faked his death. Jacob was wrong, dead wrong. Jacob knew the appointment he had was a person giving him a warning of what was yet to come and being prepared for the changes in his lifetime. Jacob was still the puppet on a string. His entire life was controlled by an invisible hand that influenced every decision he made. When the time was right, he would be brought back into the fold and take his rightful place among the World Canvas Organization elite where he belonged. So here I have set the tone. I have given a description and I have set the tone. So here is the template. A prologue stands out, draws attention to specific events before or after the current storyline, as I just read to you in my prologue. You can use a flashback that will appear later in the story as well. Or you can express the past through a memory or discourse or personal thought. A prologue can be told in a distinct voice rather than than the, the narrator or the voice that's used in the rest of the story. Or it can be presented as another viewpoint of the character to get the reader's attention. The whole point of the prologue is to get the reader's attention. Now, if this was a poor prologue, it would not lure the reader in. It would just serve to keep the reader away and not even read any further, not be interested in your book at all. The prologue can serve as an introduction. It can be cal uh, com compelling and relevant and necessary, but you need to ask yourself these questions. Use a prologue if the reader did not learn this information. Would they still understand the rest of the story? Can the details in the prologue be introduced in the main story itself? And the answer would be yes, you would have to introduce all of your all aspects of your prologue weave it through your story and make sure that you are introducing your character in the same way can the details in the prologue be introduced in the main story itself through dialogue or action or thought or even flashbacks is the data from the prologue so crucial that the reader must be aware as he reads the story? And the answer to this is yes for me. I needed to have this prologue because my first chapter starts in 2003. And this is when I am first introducing Mars. And I'm introducing Mars in a way that I am not actually using this character here, which is Jacob Harding, but I am going to be introducing Reba Harlow, which is Jacob Harding's daughter.
So did I feel, or do you feel, your prologue is going to set up the introduction for the oncoming drama and events that are going to happen in your novel? And does it meet the purpose? Or is it going to detract from your story? So you have to create your prologue so it's not detracting from your story. Say I wrote this prologue, but I wrote this prologue for 2003. There would be no point in me doing a prologue for 2003 because it would take away from my first chapter. And does it ac uh, ac accomplish your purpose without meddling the flow and impact of the whole story? So you can use a prologue if you choose, if you feel that it will help your novel. And also understand these questions. Does it reveal character stimulus? Does it establish tone? Does it create questions in the person's mind? And does it create a direction or focus? However, there are cons to a prologue as well. Number one con is that it will take away from the current story. It, it will delay the current story. It will force re readers to think of elements and characters and events that are not yet in your story. And it can actually take away the focus from your actual novel. So a prologue can keep readers from becoming fully involved in the now, which is a 2003 instead of what happened in 1959. And it can create questions in a reader's mind of what does this prologue have to do with the rest of the story? Are they going to be interested enough to read the chapter one? And then after reading the chapter one, is that going to be interesting enough to continue reading? Or are they going to just say, no, I'm not interested in this book any further? And for me, that is the easiest way that I found how to write your prologue. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, as a disclaimer, I am not an expert, so I, wouldn't, I, I would not be able to give you expert advice. This is my first book, and it's the first prologue, and this information that I'm sharing with you is for beginners. So here you can see this is 31% of your sample that the people, and they have this here because Amazon wants to know what people are reading. So as they go and they click the side arrow, that will tell you. And it will also tell you how far are they able to read into your book and to see whether they're really interested in reading even up to the third chapter. You can see here how far this goes. 70%. If they like what they read, they will either click the buy with one click or try the Kindle Unlimited. So this is 73%. Now, it's chapter 5, I believe, that I'm introducing Jacob Harding. So this will give people enough information to read the prologue and then read the chapters and see how it weaves through the story and to see if they're interested in reading it further. Now, for the people who are not familiar with the Kindle Create, watch the video that's located in the top right hand corner and it will give you the Kindle basics. I am going to quickly show you where to find your prologue. You just click on the plus sign that will open up you scroll down to you get to prologue click on the prologue open it up put your text in that you have already created from Microsoft Word and save your ebook another example here I'm just gonna click on the Kindle Unlimited And of course, there'll be a link in the description in which you can use the Kindle Unlimited. Uh, I'm also an, an associate with Amazon. I will show you how to do that as well as you are writing your story. So here is the Kindle Unlimited, and it tells you now you can read on any device. You have unlimited reading, any device. Take every word, every sentence, every story, everywhere you go. Download books directly from the Kindle app.
and start binge reading. Discover new series. So I hope this has all been helpful for all you new authors out there. Step-by-step <laughs> -step video tutorials are boring, I know. But I hope this has been helpful for you in understanding what a prologue is and if it is something that you want to use with your book. Thank you for being a part in this journey and thank you for being a subscriber. If you have found this video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so you will be notified of the next video in the series. You can also join the Facebook group for new authors. And I have other links in the description. You may be interested in joining as well. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening. And looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.